Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jose. How are you? Hello. Fine. Congratulations. Thank you, Jose. Very nice. Welcome. All right. Hi, Eric. Hi. Hi. Hi, Eric. Very good. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to oh, you. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Flor. Hi, 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 Mario. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, that's okay. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Congratulations, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Flor. Very nice. Hi, Williams. Ellie, congratulations to you, too. Thank you, Where's teacher. The cake? Uh, the cake, no cake. Sorry. <laughs> Eric, new look. New look. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's because it's Teacher's Day. You shaved. Yeah, and that's why. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that's why. All right. Hi, I Walter. Say my dad. All right. Hi, Walter. Good evening, teacher. Congratulations for this thank day. You. Special for you. Oh, thank you, Walter. Very nice. Uh -huh, Mario. How are Hi, you today, Mario? How was your day? It was okay. It's been busy. I had many, many meetings today from university, but yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> okay. Yes, Did your family actually. celebrate something? The thing is like, you know what? I'm going to tell you a secret. My birthday is on Wednesday. So really? usually ah. we join Teacher's Day celebration with my birthday. <laughs> oh, so okay. Nice. On, uh, <clears throat> uh, I guess Wednesday. But, but you can receive, but you can receive the Double gift. Pre that's true, the gift. of course. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I always demand two gifts. <laughs> Ah, okay. I'm kidding. That's All right. right. Yeah, so that's why. All right, guys. Very good. So how is everybody? Everybody okay with the weekend? Yes? Yes. yes. Thank you. Excellent. Yes. Very good. All right. I'm happy to see all of you safe and sound. Very good. Hi, Selena. Good evening, Anna. Welcome to class. All Thank right, you, guys. Sir. Hi. All right, so we're going to begin, guys. Remember that this is the very last week of this course and we're done, okay? So I think time went flying like really fast. So we're here. We're about to finish another course, all right? So here you go, guys. I this didn't feel this course. I didn't either. It just flew. All right, so here we have, a, let me see. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to take you to the platform to see the video quickly, and then I'll explain it to you as always with a PPT. All right, so this is our uh, section five already. Uh, one, giving recommendations and opinions. All right, so here we have. So please listen to it. Oops. Oops. Oh my. Hold on. I don't know what I did. What did I do, guys? There you go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to play the uh, sound so you can like listen to it and then we'll talk about it, okay? Opinions. When you think something is a good idea, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. All right. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, 
cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Yeah, we use should a note. We should take you back right when now. When we give lanes on yeah. Okay. This is what, what I want you to pay attention to. So we're talking about giving recommendations and opinions, all right? So when you think something is a good idea, so when you recommend something, when you give your opinion to something, and you think it's a good idea, we can say it using two model verbs, should or shouldn't, and O2, okay? So that's what you need to like know first. Should, shouldn't, depending what you're talking about, and O2, okay? Those are the two things or the two models that you can use when you give recommendation, when you think something is a good idea. When how you to, think, yes? Teacher, how to is not possible to use it in a negative way. Oh, not to? Not really. No, okay. I mean, it would be super complicated. <laughs> All right, okay. oh, not to be? Like, I guess you could use it, Natalie, but in a very strange form. All right. Like okay. we can go back to the uh, Shakespeare time. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then when you talk about something is absolutely necessary. All right. Like we must celebrate Teacher's Day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we have to use must or mustn't or has to or has got to. Okay. So I just want you to like remember that. And then I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to take you to my PPT. Just give me Norma. Hi, Norma. Oh my goodness. Welcome, Norma. She's here because it's Teacher's Day. I know. Very good, Normita. You're with me these days. Very good. Okay. So here we have, guys, recommendations and opinions. Okay. The same, same information as I always tell you, but we're going to go deeper into the explanation. So what we have here, it says, uh, it's the same thing that we said earlier. We're going to use passive models like should or shouldn't or ought or ought not, but it's not very commonly used, Natalie, all right? You could if you want to complicate your life a little bit. All right, when okay. we think something is a good idea, okay? Then we say, you can ask me, uh, Jessica, and what's the difference between should and no to? I don't understand O2 very well, all right? Or some people say, yeah, okay, I understand what O2 means, but what's the difference, okay? So here you go. It says, should and O2 are both model verbs, okay? In most cases, should and O2 are used interchangeably. That means that you can interchange. Sometimes you can use O2, sometimes you can use should, all right? Uh, both should and O2 are used to express advice obligation or duty however all right and this is where you have to pay attention there's a slight difference in meaning should is used when we want to express our subjective opinion hold on because i can't see in other words that what i think is the best for you to do all right you should call your mother more often, all right? I think that that's the best thing for you to do, Eric. You should call your mother more often, all right? He should apologize before she stops talking to him. I think it would be best, the best idea for Mario to apologize to Maria, all right, before she stops talking to him, okay? I think that that would be like the best thing for Mario to do and for Eric to do, and then I use should, okay? Well, hold on. O2 is used when we want to express an objective truth. In other words, what is necessary and cannot be avoided. That's why we usually use O2 when we're talking about laws, duties, or regulations. They ought to follow the school's policy or they will get spelled. According to this road sign, they ought to stop here. I hope it's clear now. All right, P.S., remember that ought is always followed by two plus infinitive, ought to go, ought to stop, ought to play, ought to listen. All right, so always, always, yeah, always, we're going to use mm -hmm. ought plus two. Two. Okay? Two. okay. Yes? So, but usually, guys, we use, you can use either or. If you want to be like more, a little bit more, not serious, but more like an obligation, more than what you think is best for someone, then you 
to. Other than that, or in like the other times, just use should. Remember, you're not gonna say you should call, you should to call your mother. No me van a andar diciendo you should to call. Or you should yes. to apologize. You should apologize. El o to si va seguido del tu y el infinitive. But not yep. should. Yes? Yes, teacher. Oh. Porque le puede dar algo. Le va a dar, Elizabeth. You know me, right? <laughs> All right. Examples. Let's see. Anna. Can you read this today, Anna? Examples, children? Uh, children should be required to wear life best when swimming in public places thank you number two anna people shouldn't be allowed allowed to tag, allowed okay. to tag on the phone while driving excellent and the last one cyclists out to be required cyclists cyclists out to be required to wear helmet while biking all right very good for me Sentence number two, I would use O2 more than uh, should. But the thing is like a negative is a little bit more complicated, but people shouldn't be allowed to talk on the phones while driving, all right, because they can cause accidents, all right? Now here, this one, the last one is a cyclist ought to be required to wear helmets while biking. It sounds more like uh, an obligation that they should do, all right, like a law. Because if they have an accident, their head is not going to pop out like a watermelon, all right? But in other ways, you can use should and it's okay. We're going to use passive models like must or mustn't, have to or have got to, when something is absolutely necessary, okay? Should and ought to is like a recommendation, it's a good idea, you think it's the best thing for you to do in a way should be a law but this is like absolutely necessary okay so when we talk about this teacher hola uh, like uh, uh, necessary is also um, also obligation yeah it's more like something that you must do all right for example you say i say you must finish the platform if you want to continue studying all right it's something like an obligation that you have to like you committed yourself to yes walter yeah yes you have to do yeah all right okay now here guys remember that in this case we're using have to or have got to all right but the, remember the third person rule also applies so if i say um Norma, for example, has to design a plan for the employees of the company, all right? I cannot say Norma have to. I have to say Norma has to, all right? Yes? Or she has got to come up with a plan. You understand the difference, guys? Yes. No, because it's third person. person singular, that's right. Yes? Okay. Hi, yes. Noe. Oh, my yes. goodness, you're here. Hi, Jenny Portillo. Hello. Happy, happy Teacher's Day to Jenny Portillo, too. Oh, thank you, too. <laughs> thank you. All right, very good. Do you guys understand what we're talking about? Yes? So, so? Yeah. Hola, hola. It's okay. That's okay, teacher. All right, okay. So this is what we're going to do right now. Hey, where's Elmer today? Elmer is not in. Oh my, he's not sleeping. I know, eh? Okay, so this is what I want. <laughs> I need to go to your groups, all right? And I want you to come up with sentences using should or shouldn't. I mean, come up with one affirmative, like you should. One negative, you shouldn't. All right, you shouldn't smoke so much, all right? Another one with O2, only in affirmative, okay? And then that's like for something that you're recommending that you think is best, all right? And then another three sentences with must, all right? Has, have or has got to, and has to or have to, all right? The must, you may do it must not or must only in affirmative. You understand what you're doing? Yes? Hola, hello, uh, yes, hello. <laughs> Guys are sleeping, yep. it's Monday. 
And it's Teacher's Day. You should be happy today. Come on. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm happy. No cake, but I'm happy. All right. Good. Okay. <laughs> Got it, guys? Yes? I'm going to send you right now to your groups. ¿Tienen preguntas? Háganlas ahorita. No? No questions? Dios mío, ¿qué les pasa? No question. ¿Por qué están tan tristes? ¿Qué les hicieron? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. Eh, Please try to type your sentences so when I come into your groups, I see what you're doing, okay? And I can check a spelling and everything else, okay? Thank you. Okay. okay. Hello. All right, there you go. Hi.
you use and, to, you use you must use as a synth a belt uh, can you repeat you it please you must use a belt when you are driving mm, a belt ah okay oh, okay i like it you must you must be used a belt you must be used be used. You must use a belt. Use. You must use. Yes, a belt. Like a, a seat belt? A cincho or a cinturón de seguridad? Yeah, okay. belt. It's a yes. Take a belt. look. Hola? You must be Take a look on, on the above. you must you must use only use only use yes why you must use because after must you have to use you you don't have to use be you just use the verb that you need to work with you must use you must eat you must pay you must be nice yeah mm. you cannot have two verbs in that sentence but, mm -hmm. But why we use, uh, for example, I saw the video uh -huh. and the video said the structure is modals mm -hmm. plus B plus past infinitive. Mm -hmm. When we use should and how to, it's not the same with must No, it's not the same with must. To. No. It's only However, with, with uh, should and how to, that is okay. Yes. Ah, okay, but uh, but you uh, hold on, I need, uh, hold on. I'm just gonna, I wanna see something here. Keep on, keep on working, yeah, and I'll, because... I'll get back to you. Um, I'm here. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because I, I, I didn't, I didn't see this part on on the video because the video said, uh, if we want to, I mean, we have to follow this structure models plus b plus plus infinity infinity that's why i'm telling you we we should use a show me plus show me um show me your sentence again please uh, which one about the seat belt ah the seat belt okay um, walter said you must be used bell when you are driving but i don't know if the the complement has think, to be in, yeah in, if you want to use the structure you have to say a seat belt must be used while driving a seat belt uh-huh a seat belt must be used so in that way eric this is what we're doing here i'm gonna share my screen with you right now can you see it okay here, mm -hmm. Eric, they're using mass, uh, ma, pl mass plus B plus, B plus the, the past participle. Mm -hmm. All right. So, if, yeah. here, if you notice, you're not talking about you, right? You don't say you must be passed. This is laws must be passed on, to control whatever, right? Okay. So, that's why I'm saying seat belts mm -hmm. must be used to control the noise from car alarm. You can say uh, seat belt mm -hmm. must be used to take care of to your life, safe. for example. Uh -huh, to be safe. Or to save your, or to save your life, maybe I don't know. Sure. Or right. to be security. To be secured. Driving. To be secured. Uh huh. So seat belt must be uh, used or must be worn. All right. But tiene que usar toda esa estructura si lo va a usar así, Eric. All right, must be okay, yeah. plus the PP of the following verb. But if I if I talking about people, I mean uh, about you, about he, or you must or be. She? I'm thinking you must be. Uh, es que usted, si usted solo por ejemplo se dice, you must be nice. Is I mean it is a recommendation, but not in the. Remember that these are like past. 
or you must be safe when you are driving. Sure. Eric, I don't know if I lost you here. Acuérdense que este tipo de, de modal verbs son, ver, o sea, como, como tiempos pasados in a way. All right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to follow this structure. Si usted dice, you must be nice, usted está nada más usando el, el, el verbo modal más. Yeah. In, present. In present, that's right. But if you want to use it like this, like giving a recommendation and an opinion, cuando usted recomienda algo, da la opinión o da su opinión, lo más probable es que ya pasó. All right? Yo le digo, you must have, like, you must, I don't know, been in class, I guess. You must be. Es que todo eso son como las... las, las but, right? but I think, for example, people mustn't be permitted uh -huh. to park motorcycles on the sidewalk. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but for me, that is in, in something that is happening right now. Because, uh, for example, this is something that happened, right? Right. Is not happened in the in the past. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. This is no, I, I I know I know what you're saying, but for you to understand the message, how it is, like it's happening right now, it ha the the structure looks like it's simple. Is it looks like it's in past tense because you're using the permitted, you're using the, the, the verb, that permitted verb, you're, you, for example, you're using it, or the done, if you look at it at the bottom, you're looking at the, the past participle. So if you're using mm -hmm. a past participle, it's, it's in a past tense way that you're using it. Okay. It's not really saying that it happened, but it's saying that if you should, if we do it differently, the outcome would be different. Okay. All right. The, okay, did you check the, our answers or examples? Where are they? On, ch on the chat. Uh, I don't know. No. Um, who's sharing that with me? Hold on. Uh, you must be. Ajá, es que usted, si usted lo deja, va a estar en la segunda. You must use a seatbelt when you're driving. That's a recommendation for like right now. Pero acuérdese que todo esto es como la, entre que la voz pasiva que estábamos viendo la vez pasada y, en los, y en lo, el, los verbos modales en un tiempo pasado, ¿all right? So usted le tiene que dar vuelta ahí. Por eso le decía yo, a seatbelt más, para que aplique la regla como está ahí, debería decir a seatbelt o a belt must be used when you're driving. Para poder usar el be más el pp del verbo. Yeah, Eric. Yeah. Like this teacher. A seatbelt must be used. Uh -huh. O podría ser a seatbelt. Solo que seat es con s e a t Porque es, es seat es el verbo. You know? S-E-A-T. Seat. A seatbelt okay. must be worn en lugar de used. También podríamos poner a seatbelt must be worn when you're driving. Okay. Y siempre estamos usando el pasado participio del verbo wear. Okay. Yeah? Yep. All right. Let me just go check on Jose Ramos because he's calling me right now, okay? Okay. Okay. Hola, hola, I'm sorry. Estaba con otro grupo. Hello, tell me. Hello. Yes, Hi, Jose. Yes, tell me. Yes, we are going to do some sentences. You want to check if they are okay. okay. And share in my screen. And I don't know if you can yeah, see. Yeah, I can see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
and here he, there are the sentence. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Give me one second. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to step out for a second and then I'm coming back. Okay. Just let me check on something. Okay. No problem. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I cannot, for some reason. I can't get out of here. Ah, everybody's calling me right now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop sharing your screen for one second. Uh, I just wanna check something, okay. okay. Yeah. Here, All I right. would like to help you practice. Hello, yeah. hello. <laughs> that was loud. All right, okay. So let me see your sentences again. You can okay. share your screen again, Jose. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, for the first one, it says you should go. Can you, you can hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. You should go to the if you feel sick. That is a normal sentence, just using should. You're not really using the structure should plus be plus the and the, participle. And the, and the third one. Let me see it. Everybody should be the workers. Workers should be completed. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. My goodness, everybody's calling me right now. I don't know what's going on. All right, hold on. It says, right. yeah, my gosh. It should be completed their work if they want to receive bonus. Espérenme que esta no es mi, está así como que insistiendo. Oh, no, no me puedo ni concentrar. Everybody is lost. Yeah, I think so. Espérenme pues, niña. Okay, so number three. I think you have to change it a little bit. Okay. With the order. Es que no es que esté mal, es el orden que estamos should, siguiendo ahí. Complete. A ver. Workers. No, the uh huh, uh huh. Espérame, espérame, espérame. No. Their work, their work should be completed or their duties should be completed if they want to receive a bonus. Quitele workers al principio. Mm -hmm. Okay, their, pongale al principio. Their duties should be completed if they want to receive a bonus. Okay. Their duties should be completed if they want to receive a bonus. Delete their. Answer. Maybe. Okay. And the five the one. Student, the fifth one. Uh, the students ought to study. Ya sea donde los perdí. A ver, the politician should be finished. The university at least mm -hmm. should be finished. The university at least to be in Congress. Yeah, it's okay. You must complete the platform if you want to continue this course. You must eat. Aha, en lo que pasa que en las últimas dos los estamos usando normal. normal. O sea, no es que esté mal, ¿no? Pero no estamos siguiendo el patrón que tendríamos que estar siguiendo. Que sería el verbo modal, que es, ¿hola? No, no, no. Que sería este que está aquí, 
Pero yo sé dónde está la... Ya, ya sé dónde los perdí. <risa> Mañana los Ajá, encuentro sí. a todos, no se preocupen. <risa> should be... Ajá, si se fija aquí, mm -hmm. está en el web, ¿verdad? Yes. Cyclist should be required. ¿Qué estamos usando? El should plus el be. Plus required. Plus part. Out, ajá. O to be required. A pesar que estamos usando el O2, tenemos que usar siempre be plus required. Must plus be plus past participle en este caso. Mustn't be permitted. Si se fija, todos están usando el be como tal. Y luego el past participle, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. All right, so that's the structure we need to follow. I think we were lost when we see your presentation because there are sentences. Yeah, that I think, yeah, I think it was, no, it's my mistake, actually. It's not that I think it's my mistake. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stop sharing right now with you and I'm gonna, just go see Noemi and then I'm coming back to all the group. We're coming back to the main session and I'll explain that a little bit, all right? Okay, thank you so much. No, thank, thank you guys. You. Yeah, yeah. Perdóneme. Si yo la rechacé mil veces, I'm sorry. Sí, nos dimos cuenta. No, perdóneme, pero es que estaba explicándole una cosa a otros compañeros. I'm sorry, ¿qué pasó? Ah, le, le queríamos preguntar de una de una oración que hicimos. A ver. Marito, háganos el favor. Mario, sus headphones, they match with your shirt. Ah. <laughs> okay, can you see the, the screen right now, Jessica? Yes. We have these four sentences because we have to use sentences with all two, should, shouldn't. Only that, or we have to use other that's sentence okay. for right now, must be? No, that's okay right now. Let's see. Oh, okay. The first is you ought to use a mask when you go to the supermarket. Yeah. The second, you should talk to your family more frequently. Mm -hmm. And the third, you shouldn't be outside the house because you can infect it with COVID-19. Okay. Mario must be we are, so, we are so serious, Jessica. Because I I lost everybody today. <laughs> and I feel guilty. <laughs> Why? Because are you because are it's you not lost? because this is not right. <laughs> the thing is like Mario I know it. You're I mean, mm -hmm. all of your sentences are okay. Uh -huh. Not the way we should be doing them right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop sharing your screen right now, and okay. I'm gonna show you this. Hold on, what what did I? Um, let's see. So if you notice, this is the structure. I need to find out where I actually lost everybody, but I lost everybody. Okay. <laughs> Here, oh, if you okay. notice, we're using should plus be plus required. All right? Shouldn't uh, plus be plus allowed. O2 plus be plus required. En este caso, lo del required quedó igual, pero no es porque mm -hmm. solo ese verbo puede hacer. Puede ser todos los verbos. All right? Mm -hmm. Y mm -hmm. lo mismo pasa en esta otra. Must plus be plus past. Lo que ustedes están usando es una oración simple, en presente simple, por decirlo así, usando el verbo modal should or must. Si yo le digo a Noemi, uh -huh. Noemi, you should be in class. Fácil, o sea, es la oración es más fácil del mundo. Right? Uh -huh. Pero estas son uh -huh. más complicadas, porque están como que si estuvieran en el pasado, por la estructura gramatical, ¿Verdad? Y usamos, es como el, 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 la voz pasiva. Si se fija, pet owner shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. All right? So, es como que le damos vuelta un poco. Solo necesito realmente estudiar esto, no porque yo no, no lo entienda, sino que porque necesito ver dónde está el error. Porque si está el error, 
tengo que corregir en lo de la plataforma y luego reenseñárselos mañana. <ríe> Por eso estaba bien seria. Así que, oh my God. Uh, okay, All right. Okay. Yeah. ok, so vamos a regresar ahorita. Vamos a abortar la misión. <ríe> y mañana tenemos clase, así que lo uh, corregimos el error y no, no hay nada. O sea que ahí en, en el caso nos faltó el B. Sí. Pero póngale, el el, eh, Mario, enséñeme otra vez uh -huh. sus oraciones. ¿no? Ok, ok. Ajá, gracias. You ought to be used. Ah, pero no, pues no tiene sentido. Si usted dice, uh -huh. to be used a mask. Entonces uh -huh. le doy vuelta. A mask ought to be used. Oh, Why you? Por eso le digo que es como la voz pasiva todavía. Uh -huh. Porque entonces la, ma la, la mascarilla debe ser usada por usted cuando sale al súper. Uh -huh. Usted debe ser usado la mascarilla, no tiene sentido. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. ¿You know what I'm saying? Entonces, uh -huh. allí está una, una oración normal. No hay ningún problema con su oración, excepto que no necesitamos estar usando ahorita. ¿Ya? Mm -hmm. All right, but we're going to go back and I'm going to re-explain this whole thing. Se, se hizo un mess. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mario. All right, guys. I, Sorry need, for me. I need to tell Sorry you for something. Being late. That's okay, Mario. That's okay. We're about to finish. Uh, I was working. Ah, I was... You lost. He said, no, have you olvidado, va? No, Eli. Oh. Eli, I'm I sorry. I was working. Okay, Mario. It's okay. I understand. Don't worry about it. Okay. No, 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 Eli. Lo que pasa es que estaba así como conflictuada con una cuestión aquí. Um, niños, vamos a dejar el tema aquí porque hay un error. <laughs> Entonces, voy a corregir ese error. Usted haga caso omiso. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué es esto? Vamos a ver. No sé si algunos quizás no logré entrar a los grupos, pero esta es la estructura que tenemos que seguir. Should, en este caso estamos usando should, shouldn't, or, or ought to, y tenemos que seguir should plus be plus the pp of the verb. All right? So should be required, shouldn't be allowed. Entonces tenemos que seguir esa estructura. El should en este caso, o el ought to, plus be, Plus the past participle of the verb. Porque yeah. si usted me dice, por ejemplo, Mario, enséñeme su oración, please. Mario Cortés. Ok, ok, right now. Mm, I cannot uh, share the screen. Right ah, now. because I'm sharing. I'm sorry. Uh, ok. <laughs> si okay. usted... A ver, solo se lo voy a enseñar aquí. No sé si todos tuvieron algunos errores, pero a los que logré entrar, sí, pero es because of me. All right. Aquí Mario, por ejemplo, ha puesto you ought to use a mask when you go to the supermarket. Lo que le decía a Mario y lo que le decía a Noé, no es que la oración esté perfectamente bien. El problema es que no está siendo usada como tendríamos que estarlo usando según la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Entonces, para poder usarla, Mario tendría que escribir a mask o to be used. Y volvemos a la voz pasiva. All right. A mm -hmm. mask o to be used when you go to the supermarket. Escríbala, Mario puede. Mm -hmm. Abajo de esta para que vean la diferencia entre una. La primera de Mario está perfectamente bien, pero usando nada más un verbo modal en su forma simple, en su forma presente. Parece, pero, pero no es incorrecto. No es que esté incorrecto. O sea, no, gramaticalmente no, no. hablando, está correcto. No, está correcta. Lo que pasa es que como ahorita estamos para dar recomendaciones uh -huh. u opiniones, Narali, podemos hacerlo de esta forma. La segunda que está escribiendo Mario, ¿all right? A más, quítele el to. A más, uh -huh. to be. Quítele el to. A yeah, más, to be. Quítele ese you, exacto. A más, to be used. When you go to the supermarket. Ahí está siendo usada como está en la plataforma, Natalie. All right? Okay. No, vuelvo y repito, uh -huh. no es que esté mala la primera. Lo que pasa que ahí es, el, usando el O2, es de la forma presente normal. ¿Verdad? Okay. Así, pero si se fija, la segunda le tuvimos que dar vuelta. ¿Ya? Entonces, eh, vamos a dejarla aquí. Mañana lo voy, vamos, voy a volver a explicar. Usted olvídese de la explicación de ahora. Vamos a volverlo a explicar. 
y tengo un videito por ahí que está bien bonito, de, 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 así como que cute. Bueno, no cute, pues está feo, pero está cute el video. Ay, no sé. Anyway, pero vamos a ver las recommendations and opinions. Es que está raro, pero anyway. Recommendations and opinions based on the video. Ya usando esta estructura que Mario nos, nos estaba viendo aquí con la segunda que escribió Mario. All right. Y siguiendo pre precisamente esto que está acá. All right. Entonces, I, I am sorry because I feel like I made a mess for everyone tonight. Pero es Teacher's Day, ¿verdad? Así que me yes, perdonan. Yes, no, that's why. No, All right, every, every Don't worry. Thing. Como que si hubiera tenido el día libre, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, my goodness. I'm sorry. Like, no, but you know what? Tomorrow, no se preocupe. Usted venga a, tiempo, venga a su clasecita y yo le, le, le voy a compensar su tiempo. <laughs> All right, All right. Okay. Sorry, pero mañana lo escuchamos como es. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Sí, bye. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, bye. Have a nice day. Have a nice bye. Day. Have a nice day. Thank you. Did, did you find bye. out? Ay, no, Walter, mañana le averiguo. Okay. All right. Yeah, tomorrow, porque okay. hoy no pude, pero mañana. All right, guys. Bye bye. 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 Have a wonderful night. Bye. 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 Bye.